How you doing, Ops team? Uh, welcome back. Uh, we had some interesting operations this week. I was on a work trip down south, uh, going down to Georgia to uh, do some work down there, and uh, made the plan, found a campground very close to where I was gonna be working, literally right around the corner, and uh, planned to take the trailer down there, stay at a camp campground, and then uh, work out of the trailer, right? The MSS was gonna, gonna fit the bill. And uh, on the way down there, uh, truck stopped working. So got about halfway there, just on the other side of Columbia, South Carolina, Lexington area, the truck stopped working, just turned off on the highway, just <laughs> doop, off. And uh, so luckily I was able to coast to a safe stopping point that was relatively level and uh, find a wrecker to come and pick me up, which was uh, not very affordable, no. right? So, um, Got the truck towed with the trailer to a shop in Lexington, South Carolina, and uh, they were unable to fix the truck. So I had to frago the plan, like army lingo, that means change the plan. And then uh, got a rental truck and then a uh, hotel room at my, at my uh, workplace and uh, stayed there for the week and did some work and then Finished that job, came back home, and started to develop a plan to recover the MSS and Big Red. So, Which took two trips. Right, took two trips. Uh, we do have the MSS and Big Red back home now, but it was an ordeal. <laughs> so uh, luckily I have a squared away Ranger buddy help me out, and uh, we got back. So we learned a few so things. So we learned a few things, most notably, who do you need to have for your roadside assistance policy? Good Sam, AAA, something else, regular insurance, because that tow job. Yeah, honestly, I had no clue about uh, AAA, really, what it does. Obviously, I've heard of it before, but uh, I was discussing it with a uh, lady that goes to my gym, and uh, she thought I was pretty foolish for not really <laughs> having AAA or even kind of knowing what AAA does, but uh, apparently that's a thing, so yeah. I need apparently, to get educated. Apparently, once you reach 40... Yeah. You have to tell you have to That's the cutoff That's according the cutoff. to Carrie. You so. know why we don't have it? Because you know how to change a tire and walk to, and we don't run out of gas yeah. mostly. Generally, but when you have a a Ford 60 like uh putting yeah. a band-aid on it to limp into the shop is and not your house an option. On the back of it. Right, so had to uh had to figure that out. We also discovered that uh if you're going to leave your trailer for an extended period of time and you are not connected to shore power or have a plan in place for power or leave your battery turned on it will die all the way and uh, if you have a full refrigerator of food that's not good it will all be spoiled right when you it's get not your good trailer back home. so uh, that was a thing also uh, it can affect your uh, landing gear if you have an auto leveling system um, like we have uh, batteries all the way dead, took a little while to work through those error messages and things like that. So some considerations, right? If you had similar experiences, go ahead and comment below, tell us about them. And uh, I'm sure at a minimum would be entertained a little bit and uh, hopefully we would be educated some by your experiences and uh, your mistakes. Hopefully you're educated some by our mistakes um, and we don't make them again. Um, so. All right, enjoy. Here's me and uh, me and Chris going down to get the MSS back from South Carolina. Hey, what's up? We're uh, we're on the way to Lexington, South Carolina. I had a little mishap last Friday. It's almost a week later. It's actually a week later, right? But uh, on the way to uh, on the way to Georgia, uh, my truck broke down again, and. Uh, had the had the trailer hooked up to it fifth wheel so that was an ordeal figuring out how to get that thing towed and uh moving it to a uh to a to a shop to try to get the truck looked at um we were unsuccessful in getting the truck fixed so went through more ordeal to try to figure out how to make my training event or and uh still uh stay in that location and work and uh get back home and then try to plan the recovery, the vehicle recovery and the trailer recovery. So here we are a week later. Uh, my bro Chris is squaring me away with his freaking truck to uh, go down and pick up my trailer. And uh, we're gonna take it home 
and then probably turn around tomorrow and head back down there to pick up my truck. So uh, we just crossed out of North Carolina into South Carolina and uh, more to follow. Yay. Well, what are we, about 13 miles from the exit, about 20 minutes out from trailer pickup. We're, uh, well, I am getting educated on the, uh, on the ins and outs or higher higher knowledge of uh, the basic, basically all the Ford trucks between 2010 and 2000 and now. So uh, we're rolling down to uh, South Carolina in, in Chris's super truck. It's a 17? 17. It's a 17 F350 Super Duty Platinum. It's dope. And uh, he's getting me spun up on all the, uh, all the reasons why I need to buy a new truck. So, Stacy, when you see this, blame Chris. <laughs> I can take it. Yeah. So, uh, now we'll get this thing home and we'll get it tuned up, get it fixed, and then, uh, and yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how to, uh, how to get the wife to accept the trade-in. <laughs> That's going to be a thing probably shortly. So, anyhow, um, stay tuned, more to follow, updates are coming. Back still? Yep, go to the next gate. Where that car is there? Yep. Okay. Oh, see ya. <clears throat> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So, in typical fashion, you know, nothing is uh, straight up easy, and uh, because Needless to say, I was semi upset when I left this trailer last time. I probably maybe skipped a couple of steps and I left something on. I'm not sure what was on. I should have just turned the battery off, but it's all the way dead. So the battery's all the way dead. And uh, we plugged in the truck and uh, tried to hook it up, but it's still like it's not uh, cooperating, receiving a charge or anything like that. So we actually turned the truck around, right, and have jumper cables running in to power the. Uh, See, to power the get the battery enough enough juice to work the jacks because they're electric and uh, yeah I, I couldn't find any like manual crank or anything like that to actually turn the jacks by hand which is uh, probably not a good idea but uh, we're dealing with it and uh, you know it's still going um, uh, Chris is helping me out and uh, the, uh, I got power back, so we're giving it a little bit. It's giving me some error messages. I think that's maybe because it was all the way dead. Um, and uh, yeah, figuring it out, figuring it out, figuring it out. <laughs> all right, so we're hooked up. Had some uh, issue getting the freaking uh, the jacks all squared away uh, and retracted and everything like that. It was just. Uh, I, honestly, I think it was because it was off and like the battery totally died all the way that uh, we had a little bit of a, of a problem, but uh, we're good to go now. Finalizing everything. I'm going to get this tape measure so I can measure my truck and make sure that it fits in Chris's trailer. And then, and then kill this gas and then, and then we will be Back on the road, back on the road. So here's the rig, bam, all hooked up. Ready to roll Tangnua back north, right? So we'll see you guys later. So we stopped off here to measure the height of a uh, of Big Red and uh, it has uh, come up with 80 inches from the ground to the top of the lights. So Corpus trailer's got 81 ish so we're gonna push it and see uh see if that'll make it so that's pretty bueno we're gonna freaking like i said we're gonna head north now and uh we'll be back in fayetteville soon ish and there we go a 
Well, look, there's a brand new truck. <laughs> Just crossed back into North Carolina, headed north, northbound and down. Uh, and I just realized you guys don't know my friend Chris yet. <laughs> I think probably we linked up in like 03 ish. Yeah, 03 ish. Yeah. Uh, Chris is also a retired SF dude, former Ranger Battalion guy, as evident by the fucking <laughs> by the uh, t shirt. I'll edit that F bomb later. Uh, and we've been getting into trouble for quite a while now, so uh, my range buddy, Chris, 